All right, brush monkeys, we're back, and hopefully this won't be too uh, difficult or awkward a way of doing this. But um, last week we talked about uh, miniature companies other than Games Workshop that I have worked with and have painted miniatures from personally. This week we're talking about and looking at miniature companies that I have not ordered from and not personally worked with, but have heard good things about and. Um, I'm impressed with what I've seen online of their miniatures and what I've seen other people paint of them and that kind of thing. So we're going to look at, at a lot of other companies. Um, I've got a list of about seven companies uh, that we're going to talk about today. Now I want to preface this by saying that none of these companies have sent me any free merchandise or miniatures to be uh, included in this video or to be endorsed. None of these companies have paid me in any way. Um, and I have not personally worked with any of these miniatures. I haven't ordered any, I haven't painted any. Um, I don't have any hands-on experience with any of these companies, okay? So take, this is just my personal opinion, take it with a grain of salt. Like I said, this is based entirely on their online presence, what I've seen of other comp other people painting them, what I've seen of their uh, miniatures online and their websites. Uh, that is it, okay? Uh, I have received nothing to endorse these companies. At the same time, I don't want you to think that these are the only companies out there. There are literally hundreds of miniature painting companies. These are the seven that... I picked these seven mostly because I want to check them out and these are ones I want to order from. I don't want you to think that um, because I left out XYZ company that I don't like XYZ company or whoever. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't come at me with, with hate mail saying, hey, you forgot about such and such. I don't know anything about such and such. I haven't seen them. I haven't uh, checked them out or anything. Now that you've mentioned them, I will, but that's about all I can do for you. Maybe I'll do a part three down the line of of uh, viewer requests or viewer uh, recommendations. But for right now, these are the ones that I would like to work with. I have not yet, and and uh, so we're going to be taking a look at them. But I think they do good stuff. So, like I said, take my opinion with a grain of salt. But let's get into it here. Okay, the first miniature company we're going to talk about is Signum Games. Um, they have games associated with their miniatures, and and that's really what they're what they're getting into. But I have not actually played with any of these miniatures. I have not looked them up. Frankly, I don't know anything about their games, and their game is incidental to their miniatures i mean look at these these are fantastic they're beautiful this is their website uh signumgames.com and i'll include a link to all of these in the description below um for right now i just wanted to bring up their website and take a look at these figures like this is their legends of the north and you can see the detail on the shields here um this is a new sci-fi series which i didn't even know they had but they do um like wolven there's like anthropomorphic wolves they've got a bunch of knights they've got i mean look at the detail on those wings these are all resin miniatures um their prices are not unreasonable they're they're in euros so they're coming over from europe i'm not sure exactly where they're based out of but i mean it really looks like some fantastic stuff i love some of these sci-fi characters um i love some of these these legends of the north look like straight out of the Vikings TV show. I, I so want to order some of these guys. And they've got a bunch of fantasy miniatures that look just as fantastic. So definitely go check these guys out. Signumgames.com um, Moving on. <laughs> Bye. All right, these guys are hassle-free miniatures. Their website is uh, www.hfminis.co.uk, co.uk, and they uh, they're another company that does 
resin and, and I'm guessing plastic miniatures from the looks of some of them. Um, they do a lot of really fantastic fun stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. They have a mix of um, sci-fi and fantasy figures. Um, some of them are modern figures, some of them are futuristic figures, some of them are fantasy figures, uh, medieval fantasy. The thing that got me hooked on hassle-free miniatures is some of their miniatures are, um, while they're not officially licensed, it's very clear to see who they're supposed to be. Like, they have a bunch of miniatures that look like uh, the Scooby-Doo gang. They're not called that, and they're not called by their names that they that they are in Scooby-Doo, but it's clear to see who they're supposed to be. The the Shaggy stand-in looks like Shaggy. Scooby is very clearly a big Great Dane, um, so on and so forth. They've got a figure that looks like John Wick. They've got a lot of figures that look like, well, like who they're supposed to be, but they're not licensed, so they're not officially <laughs> those figures. <laughs> But again, they look fantastic. They're 20 millimeter figures. They look like they've got really clean lines and detailed sculpts. I, I really want to order from these guys. Um, again, they're European. They're uh, from the UK, so they're um, well. I guess the UK is not European anymore. <laughs> My bad, Brexit. Um, but yeah, they're they're from Great Britain, and so their any order from them is going to take a little while. But I haven't heard anything bad about them. They're usually pretty upfront about any kind of delays in, in production and shipping. So definitely go check them out. All right, the next company on my list is uh, Hardcore Miniatures. And I've heard a lot of good things about them and seen a couple of their miniatures that look really fantastic. Um, these are stand ins for a lot of Games Workshop stuff. So they've got um, they've got things like orcs and sci-fi that are space marines and things like that. Um, you can see the kind of categories they've got here, and it's a lot of different uh, different stuff. Let's check out the orcs. Those look really amazing, and those look almost like game. I mean, that's clearly on an equal of anything that Games Workshop is producing. They're a little pricier. This guy is $21. That's also a little closer to Games Workshop's prices. But they also look really good. These are clearly miniatures for people that like painting miniatures because there's a lot of uh, detail in those. Steve the Miner. See, now this is a little more reasonable. This is uh, Steve the Miner. He's $7. <laughs> this is... Uh, Alex the Crafter, which I'm guessing is supposed to be like a, a um, well, it says fantasy, but the way she's dressed, it kind of looks like Tomb Raider. So, <laughs> she's $7. Um, their fantasy line's kind of limited. Let's see what their cyber animals looks like. I've heard good things about them. I've not, nothing on the cyber animals. I've not actually gone here and taken a look at, at what they've got, so I'm kind of playing around right now. Okay. Um, all right, so <coughs> their modern ones are kind of funny. Um, John here is clearly supposed to be the guy from, um, oh crap, what is that game? Uh, there's a video game, and he, he looks like the main guy from that. It's a first-person shooter, but I'm drawing a blank on the name now. This guy is obviously, it says Arnold, but he's obviously Duke Nukem. <laughs> um scientist is ten dollars that's clearly Gordon Freeman although again not officially <laughs> but it's even got like the half-life emblem on the front of them so that that's about as close as you can get to getting a Gordon Freeman miniature without crossing the line <laughs> copyright wise um, escaper yeah that's uh, that's, <laughs> that's snake Bliskin. so yeah I'm loving these guys these guys kind of look like a uh, 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 kind of like hassle-free and that it, it's pretty clear to see what the influence is. Oh, they got Doom Guy too. Awesome. Check that dude out. <laughs> but yeah, these miniatures are a little more reasonable. I'm guessing the orcs are more expensive because they're bigger. 
But uh, yeah, go check these guys out. It's uh, hardcore-miniatures.com, and then there'll be a, there's a page about their their COVID response, and then a link to their shop, which will bring you to this page. So go check those guys out. Looks like they got some really cool stuff. I might have to order some Duke Nukem and Doom miniatures. <laughs> All right, uh, the next mi excuse me, the next company is Cool Mini or Not. Um, it's at cmon.com. And this one's a little bit different than the others in that this one, most of the other miniature companies, even the ones that have a game associated with their miniatures, sell the game separately from the figures. And so if you just want to buy the figures to paint them, you can. Cool Mini or Not is a little bit different in that they don't really sell the miniatures separately from the game. The Arcadia Quest miniatures that I have painted have been expansion sets, and they come with like the cards and the stats and all that kind of thing to integrate them into the game, but you can't really buy them separately from the game. Um, I reviewed the Arcadia Quest miniatures last video because I've actually painted some of them. This video I wanted to talk about the Zombie Side games because I want to paint those miniatures, and there's a huge number of Zombie Side games that take place everywhere from you know modern day to a prison setting like in uh, Walking Dead, all the way up to there's a Zombicide Invader, which is like a space-themed one. There's Zombicide Black Plague, which takes place in the Middle Ages. And they're just straight-up George Romero-style uh, zombie-killing games, and they're awesome. Um, they look like a lot of fun. The gameplay looks like it's easy to pick up and play. I really want to get my hands on them to paint the miniatures, because the miniatures look fantastic. Unfortunately, I've been all over the website, and I don't see pictures of the miniatures themselves all I see is but this right here <coughs> if anybody is looking for a birthday present idea for me my birthday is January 1st pick up get this 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 right here <laughs> night of the living dead a zombie side game it is based on the George Romero classic movie all the miniatures are of course characters right out of the movie and I so want to get these and paint them in a black and white style so that they match the black and white movie. Um, I think it's going to look really fantastic. The other cool thing about the Zombicide games is all the player character miniatures. There's, there's straight up zombie miniatures, but then there's the player character miniatures of survivors. And all of those come in two different versions. One that's a living survivor and one that's a zombicide or zombified version of that figure so if you get bit and you get turned into a zombie you have a separate miniature that represents your character as a zombie which is really cool and that's what a lot of these have in them too they're they're uh let me see if they show some of the figures because like i said these things are just really here we go look at these bad boys out of stock i don't care if they're out of stock show me um, but anyway, these are like really detailed figures. <coughs> they um, come in colored plastic, like usually the zombies are green. Excuse me. <coughs> usually the zombies are green and the survivors are white, but you can see here there's different versions of them. But they look fantastic. Definitely go check those out. Um, again, that's uh, www.cmon.com. And uh, they've got a pretty wide variety of games. I've, like I said, I've painted the Arcadia Quest figures. I've not painted Zombie Side. I've not played either game, but I'm really looking forward to. So, go check those out. And uh, if you do play these games, if you do check them out, shoot me a comment below and let me know what they're like. So, moving on. All right, our next company is Dark Sword Miniatures, and they are uh, www.darksordminiatures.com. Again, I'm going to put links to all of these in the description down below, so you can find them yourself. These look like um, the website says uh, premium pewter fantasy miniatures in 28 millimeter historic or heroic, excuse me, gaming scale, um, and they look like old school 
Grenadier and Ralph Partha miniatures. They look really fantastic. Um, a couple of them look like they're straight out of the uh, artwork of Elmore Leonard and that kind of thing. They are, they've got anthropomorphic animals, they've got fantasy characters, they've got a huge variety of stuff and they look really fantastic. Let's uh, take a quick look here and see what their prices look like. Okay, their prices are not bad. About 10 bucks a figure. Um, it's a little higher than uh, Reaper, but then again, a little higher than Pathfinder, too. But then again, like I said, you're dealing with metal miniatures with a lot of detail and a lot of uh, care taken to... Um, the sculpt and the pose and the uh, level of detail put to them. All these dogs look fantastic. Um, I'm not sure that I would pay the same for a 28 millimeter uh, Rottweiler, for example, as I would um, the male warrior with action shield. Here, it's ten dollars, but you know he's a human sized figure versus a dog. You know, maybe make the dogs half half price. That's the only gripe I have about these guys, though. Um, they look really good. Uh, again, I'm looking forward to kind of working with them. I haven't heard anything bad about these guys. Some of the anthropomorphic animals look hilarious, like these frogs and the little fox rogue. There, They all look fantastic. So go check those out, uh, darkswordminiatures.com. Alright, next up is Atlantis Miniatures, and they are www.atlantisminiatures.com. And, uh, yeah, usually if you go on their website, you'll get this little pop-up for a 10% off coupon. They're relatively new on the market. I just saw these guys, um, okay, by the time you see this, it will have been a couple of years, but <laughs> for me... Uh, recording this, it's only been within the last couple of months that I've seen these guys pop up, but they look fantastic. <coughs> Excuse me. This Yeti has like an unprecedented level of detail in the fur. Look at that. That is just gorgeous. It's got all this frost hanging off of it. That's not added on by the painter. That's sculpted onto the figures. And they look amazing. They've got these war bears, armored war bears, werewolves. Um, yeah, the Yeti. These dwarfs are what first got my attention for these guys. Um, one of the guys in the Mocan Miniature Painter site is really into painting dwarfs, and he's posted pictures of these guys before, and they look fantastic. The Goblin Specials look amazing. And it looks like it's 28 millimeter um, resin. Again, they're... Again, they're a little bit pricey. The Goblin Specials, for example, are 25 bucks for the three of them. That Yeti is 60 bucks. I'm assuming he's a big some bitch though, because I mean that's that's getting up there in Games Workshop prices. But it also says you can save 20 bucks by if you order today that 10% off thing. So that's not bad. It brings it down to about 40 bucks. They are gorgeous. I'm not sure I can. I haven't ordered from them because I can't quite justify dropping 60 bucks for that. You know, the same reason that I haven't, um, that I've stopped painting Games Workshop figures is the white reason I haven't pulled the trigger on painting these guys yet. But, go check them out. Maybe you'll feel differently about it and, uh, give them a try. Again, if you order from these guys, um, shoot me an email. Let me know what they're like and what they're made out of and all that kind of stuff and, uh, let me know what you think. Alright, and the last company we're going to talk about today is Oathsworn Miniatures. Um, these I came across because of the anthropomorphic animals. <laughs> uh, they do a game called Burrows and Badgers. Uh, these just look fantastic. They've got like... Like cats in armor <laughs> badgers and, and uh, I, I don't know what that is I think it's like a mole <laughs> but they just look fantastic and they're hilarious got all these different it's basically D&D &D, but with anthropomorphic animals look at that fox ranger that is fucking awesome I love that guy I so want to paint one of these and uh, <laughs> their prices are fairly reasonable it looks like they're um, 
Oh, that's a postage. Let's take a look at their figures. Let's see what these guys look like. Miniatures. Boom. They are at uh, www.oathsworniniatures.co.uk. So this is another one that's coming from England. <coughs> Which means all these prices are in euros. I'm sure there's probably a way to change them to US dollars or whatever your local currency is. But you can also just, you know, Google a currency converter and, and figure it out before you order them. I would definitely advise doing that before you order because you will rack up a lot of expenses really fast. But yeah, you got like that otter warrior. You got this little rabbit wizard here. But they're all about three euros, which is not bad. Um, last time I checked, I think that's about six dollars. Um, I may be wrong on that. But they got mouse knights, they got uh, bat assassins. <laughs> bat assassin, I gotta see this. Oh my god, that's awesome. Noctul bat assassin. Small bat. White metal model with integral metal base. Supplied and painted with a separate 30 millimeter plastic base. Okay, so they've got this little molded on base, but they also come with a plastic base that uh, you can glue them to. Which works out great for a lot of the painting handles that uh, I use and that other people use. And again, it's three euros. That's not plus a uh, fifty-eight cents VAT where applicable. I'm, I'm not sure what that is, so I'm guessing it's not applicable. They always used to tell me in the Navy, if you don't know what it is, it doesn't apply to you. <laughs> but yeah, they got a bunch of them: mouse burglar, shrew warrior. Uh, there's just a ridiculous number of these miniatures and they look fantastic. So yeah, go check those out. Oath Sworn Miniatures. If you're into anthropomorphic animals and furries, this is the company for you. <laughs> um, so check those guys out. All right, so those are just um, seven companies. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven companies that uh, I have heard good things about, and that I have seen uh, their miniatures online, and I think they look really fantastic. Like I said, some of them are a little bit pricey. Uh, Atlantis miniatures. I'm looking at you. A little bit on the high end, but if you're wanting to paint something for a competition. Um, Maybe that'd be the way to go. Get something a little more high end, a little more detailed, and uh, you know you're not going to be running a race in a Honda Civic. Go ahead and get a Lamborghini. Um, but yeah, go check those out for yourself. If you order from those any of those companies, um, shoot me a message down below. Shoot me an email. Uh, let me know what you thought of them. Uh, how easy they were to clean up, how easy they were to prime and paint, uh, if they came with any kind of uh, mold release residue on them that you had to clean off first, uh, anything like that. You know, all the standard stuff that I do in my videos. Um, let me know, and let me know what you think of them. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next week. Bye. Hey Boris Monkeys, Tom from Flying Monkey Studios here. If you like what you see, click like down below. Um, if you want to be notified when new videos come out, click subscribe. And uh, in the meantime, if you want to see how to add one of the miniatures that we've painted on this channel to your own collection, check out our Instagram, uh, Tumblr, and uh, Patreon sites. Uh, if you want to support, support us in doing what we do, Check out my Patreon site. Check out my uh, merch store at storefrontier.com slash flymonkeystudios. You can get t-shirts, sweatshirts, uh, long sleeve shirts, hoodies, all kinds of stuff there. Um, go check that out. And uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching, and I will see you next week. Bye.